guys welcome to today's video we are we me and all of us here at the JV studios are gonna be doing this makeup look it is so fall inspired I am loving the colder weather I'm so excited to just be in a fall festive mood I want to drink a ton of apple cider and just be folly um, so if you guys want to see how I got this look or just hang out with me, please continue watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking the red button down below and follow me on social media and let's get into it. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing, so let's just do it. <laughs> okay, so um, for eye primer today, I'm going to be using my... Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer and then I'm going to take this brush. This is a BH Cosmetics number no. 8 brush and I'm just going to buff it out. And then um, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill number no. 2 palette from Morphe and I'm just going to take this shade this bone color called certified gosh what do I want to do I think I'll do a super like berry red so I'm going to take the shade next really lightly and this is a MAC 217 blending brush and just really lightly start working that into the crease so I didn't post a lot these last few months because I was in um, school and oh my gosh right now I'm feeling like I never want to go back to school again <laughs> I just overdid it a little bit is what happened I'm going to take the MAC 224 blending brush and just buff it out a little bit so there's no harsh edges. I'm going to pick up a Morphe blending brush. It doesn't have a number on it, but that's what it looks like. And I'm going to take the shade Crazy, which is like this super beautiful burgundy shade. And buff that into the outer corner. So I'm going to take a BH Cosmetics number no. 6 brush. So I want to make like a little bit of a smoked out V here. So I'm trying not to take too much of it onto the center of my lid. And then I'm going to take on a little, I think this is a brow brush because there's a spoolie on the end, but I'm going to use it as a liner brush. And I'm going to take the black shade called Temptress and do a little bit of a faux liner. Let me go back in with crazy. I'm going to take the 224 again and just keep making sure there is a seamless blend. Okay. Now I think I'm going to move on to the other side of my eye. Okay, so my face is so freaking dry that I'm going to go in with the maracuja oil. Um, for some moisture. And then I'm just gonna take my ring finger. I'm actually gonna do some liquid liner. 
And this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Liquid Liner. Oh boy, I don't know how to do a liner. I feel like at one point I did. I kind of feel cheerleadery in this getup. Like, um, Grease, like Sandy. Some loving happened so fast. Some loving had me a blast. Okay, I was going for a fall look with this, these shades that I thought were gonna be super like fall berries are turning out pretty vibrant pink. But that's okay, you know, whatever. My janky brow was that I need to get a new one. So I realized in my last video that these lights really played me. I thought my brows looked super like defined and everything. They were almost transparent. And I want I don't know how, but without getting like Botox and a brow lift to make my brows go this way because when I'm unaware or if I'm just sitting there, I always look so concerned or like I'm gonna cry, <laughs> but I'm not. And so I want to give the illusion that I'm smizing. I just, I'm not sure how to attain that without I guess I could like shave off this part, and, but I'm not that committed yet. Okay, so my camera did something weird, but I added some cream contour. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Cream Contour Stick, and I am putting it on before my foundation. Mm, a little more, I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender. That is a little damp. And just try to blend it in as much as possible. Okay, so I'm going to take my Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue. So now I'm going to take my Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer again and apply some concealer. Obviously these are super contrasting shades. But I am going to take the Ilia Soft Focus Fade Into You. Okay, so I'm taking the shade Passion from the Norvina palette down here. And I'm going to just shade in my lower lash line. to take the KKW Beauty Classic blush and I'm going to take the um, deepest one
And I'm gonna line my lips with the Steve Laurent nude. I need to sharpen this. For lips, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D in the shade Exorcism. Okay, and that completes the look for today. It turned out um, a little close to how I wanted it to but I still really like it. Um, I think it is super vampy and fall and like just what I'm looking for. Um, so I'm really happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a thing or two or just had fun hanging out. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. joking. Look what I just did. I just fucked these lashes up. So I'm not wearing these.